Hey guys, RC Kiddo 71 here, and I have a really cool unboxing that I've been waiting to do. <clears throat> I got this actually the day before Christmas on the 23rd, and today is the 28th, and I have yet to open it. So I figured I would do that now. And what it is, it's a Ultra LX 2E which I am going to use as an off-road car. Um, I am super excited about this. I'm still doing the speed stuff, but I kind of wanted to do a new 1-8 scale off-road, and I was so impressed with the product of the GT P2E that um, I just I had to get myself one of these because basically, as you guys know, this is pretty much the same chassis and setup almost as the GTP, just designed for off road. So um, I went with the 80% pre-assembled model. I did not go with the ready to run version just because I have a few modifications that, <clears throat> or different things that I, whoops, that I want to do with uh, this car. So anyways, nice box. Get the lid off. And wheels. Wow. Those are really firm but kind of they're squishy but they're they're solid and they're thick i'm uh, used to the 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 grps let's see here clear body um, i haven't decided what color yet but if you guys have any suggestions let me know i thought about doing it with the green and purple and white like my speed run um, gtp uh, that would be kind of cool. I could have like, I don't know, sibling cars. A couple more wheels. The high downforce uh, wing. And of course, in the typical fashion, that Offness packs their but or their cars. It's zip tied in, so. Plastic parts, battery tray, screws, Velcro strips, pull down the battery, all that good stuff. Hang on. manual you know they just do the photocopied version of the manual you can actually download this thing online in PDF form which is, is really nice but you know they just do this obviously to save money instead of the big fancy glossy versions that just add more cost to your product stickers body clip antenna tube that's nice nice box I'm gonna keep that box but uh, basically, here she is, and wow, holy smokes, um, the shocks are quite a bit bigger than the GTP, there's an um, extra brace here, but these are nice, the center diff is a little different, obviously, than the GTP 2E, but yeah, this thing is 80% pre-built, and I am going to put in um, Fly Sky Receiver. I'm going to use uh, EC5 battery connectors. I'll probably run this on a 4 to 6S setup, just depending on what I feel like on the day. But I'm going to put install a 10 amp BEC, a Savox servo, which is in the mail. It should have been here already, but. 
it's not here yet, so that'll be here any day. And then a Mamba Monster Castle Creations uh, 2200 KV with the uh, Mamba Monster 2. So this box, I believe, is an old box, but basically I'm going to put the Mamba Monster 2 and uh, 2200 KV motor. So I've got those all ready to go. And basically, that's it. So once it's all done, I will make a video, a completion video. And um, if you guys don't mind, give me some color ideas. I'd be interested to hear what, what you all would like to see on it. Again, I'm thinking maybe potentially the green, purple, and white. Uh, the, the fluorescent green with the purple stripe and the white stripes. Um, go check out my John Racer X um, visit video, the video where I go visit John Racer X, and you'll see it that part there. So, anyhow, um, happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. And uh, the next video I do will be this baby will be complete. And then, man, I can't wait to, to go bash this thing. That chassis bottom right there, that's probably the nicest you're ever going to see it again. <laughs> so, anyhow, take care.